my channel. Um, I thought I'd do some weekly vlogging while I'm on holidays just because I am planning on doing a heap of sewing over the next three weeks. So I thought you might find it interesting and maybe um, just a little insight as to what I do during my holidays. I am not a sit on the couch and watch movies kind of girl. I am just always on the go. Um, so the holidays are kind of my time to really do what I want to do and it means that I get a bit of a taste as to what my life could be like if I can make enough money to stay at home and do what I want to do. So anyway, um, I am currently sewing my McCall's M7472 which is a shirt dress tunic. Yes, M7472. Um, so I am doing view F which is this one here. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to give the root finger. Um, this one here. So I'm just doing the sleeves at the moment. Um, and I've never sewn anything with a continuous... What do they call it? A continuous lap. I've never sewn anything with that before. And I've not done sleeves like this before. So that's been interesting. Um, it's really, really cold here today. It's going to be heaps cold this week. Um, and raining every day, like a fair bit of rain every day. So Bailey and I are planning on spending it inside <laughs> sewing. I do have a couple of appointments this week. I have got, we have um, Bailey's vet appointment tomorrow. So I will update you on what's happening with that then. Um, hopefully she won't need any further, like any surgery. But um, we're just not 100% sure if it's getting any better. Oh, Kenneth just got home. Um, and I also am meeting one of our Little Mr. Rain brand reps on Wednesday. And I'm getting a haircut. Um, so yeah, I think this is going to be a short one so I can upload it on Wednesday. And then from Wednesday I'll start again. So, Hi everyone. So quick little update for you. We actually ended up taking Bailey to the vet tonight because Kenneth and I thought it was getting worse. Um, she's got this white bit that sort of goes over her eye and that was getting bigger. Um, but we just talked her to the vet and they said that it's actually getting better um, and the white bit that's as big as it will get and then yeah it will sort of heal but her injury is actually really bad so it will take usually this type of injury takes about one to two weeks to heal whereas hers will take nearly well by another two weeks and it's already been a week and a half so um, we were planning on going away for these holidays like to Streaky but I won't be going um, I'll be staying home with Bailey for the whole time um, Kenneth might go for a few days but yeah not we're not really going for the week and a half like we thought we were um, which sucks but at least she doesn't require any surgery at this point so um, I won't show you her eye right now because it is green um, so might freak you out a little bit but I'm the reason I'm in the car in case you're wondering is because we are renovating our laundry which is where this whole situation started um, and Kenneth needs to take off some of the plaster on the wall but Bailey goes crazy when she hears him banging so we can't be inside so Bailey and I are just chilling in the car until he knocks all of the plaster off so we should only be in here for another 10 minutes but yeah, anyway, I thought I'd just update you on that and hopefully I'll be able to show you some sewing right It's Tuesday. Oh my god, I'm having a complete mental blank. It is Tuesday today. Um, I am wearing the same thing as yesterday. However, I do have on my Virginia leggings and I have on my um, Numa crop. Um, because, you know, when I'm at home doing nothing, I just tend to wear the same thing every day. Um, so, yeah, I have a bit of a free day today. I thought we were going to the vet today, but obviously we went last night, as you would have seen. Um, Bailey is, like, full of energy at the moment. Um, she's a border collie, so at any rate, she always requires a lot of exercise. And we haven't been able to exercise her for over a week now. Um, the vet did say we could take her for a walk, but we have to be really careful. Um, but it's really cold outside, and I'm actually not feeling that great today. I have, like, a really sore throat. And like a really blocked up nose and just yeah just generally feeling a bit ugh. so um yeah i thought i'd do some sewing instead so i'm still working on my mccall's shirt tunic i'm just attaching the cuffs um and then i can finish off the sleeves and attach those um bailey is just i don't know if you can see her chilling on the couch which is good. She's actually calmed down for once. She, she is on like sedation tablets, but they don't really do too much. Um, the first night they did, she couldn't walk. She couldn't like move. She couldn't go to the toilet, which is like not what they're supposed to do. So then we went to a half and then that did nothing. Then I put her back on one morning and night and it really doesn't do too much. But 
Anyway, she's all right as long as I stay still. As soon as I get moving, she like wants to follow me everywhere. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to work on that. I have an email to send to a virtual assistant client um, just because I'm doing some work for her. So I need to do some of that and do some other jobs for her. Um, I need to probably do some sewing for little Miss Serena. Although I think today I'm just going to do some sewing for myself just because I haven't done that for ages. So yeah, I'll keep you posted. Interesting. Um, I've just finished the um, the collar bands, the cuffs, but I need to um, hand stitch them down. Um, but they don't mention anywhere about adding in the buttons and the buttonhole, which is really odd. So I think I'm just going to add those in um, before I move on to putting the sleeve in because it will be so much easier to do them now. Um, but yes, yeah, coming along nicely. <laughs> I've just realized that I did the buttonhole on the wrong side so I must have like flipped this around the wrong way so um, it means that my continuous lap is showing on that side so it should actually be this way so I'll show you on this one uh, so this bit of the continuous lap should be showing and then this bit will go over the top and then that will hide it that's the whole point of it so you don't see it idiot luckily I haven't cut them open yet Okay, so this is the first time I'm trying it on because I haven't really been able to try it on up until now. Um, until you put the sleeves in, you can't. It sort of just flaps in the breeze. Um, Bailey's just doing a bit of guard dogging at the moment. Very annoying. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it is supposed to be, like, big as a tunic. It probably is a little bit too big for me on the sleeves. Um, I, I'm not really too fussed about that though because I'm probably going to wear them with the tabs most of the time anyway. Um, I'll just flip you around. So this is what it looks like on. Obviously it looks really stupid <laughs> with these leggings. Um, I think I will take a little bit of length off of the front and maybe a smidge bit off the back. Um, so these stay open. These are big splits up the side. Um... Yeah, so it'll be interesting once I get the button band on because obviously, um, you know, I can almost get away without putting that one on now. But um, I do think it probably would look cuter with a belt, um, but I'm not really going to know that until I finish. So, a little bit dark. Overall, I am really happy with this so far. It is quite cute, um, but I think I definitely yeah, need to take a little bit of length off the back, but it's definitely some length off the front. Um, which is how I wanted it anyway, just to make it a little bit cuter at the front. So yeah, we'll see. Anyway, how it goes. This one was a little bit out of my comfort zone anyway, so we'll see how it turns Wednesday. out. Stay. Um, I thought I'd just pop in and show you what I'm up to at the moment. I'm just organising some of my patterns for this month uh, so I can start sewing some of them. Um, obviously, I'm still working on my tunic, but I just want to have everything else like ready to go. Um, so I've just popped together my... Calafé Valley Blouse, which I will be doing a sew along for this month. Um, so I'm not going to cut out the fabric just yet, but I want to trace off everything and see how much more fabric I'll need because I don't have enough um, of the remnant that I had and I'm really hoping that they have some more of that left. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to trace off my size for that one. I am was tossing up between whether to cut out an extra extra small or an extra small. I sort of, I fit both measurements, so, um, I don't know, it's a pretty flowy top anyway, so I think I might do the extra, extra small and hope that that's okay. Um, obviously I'm still working on my McCall's tunic, I have not done anything else since I showed you um, it on me yesterday, I need to um, trace off the button bands, so I haven't done anything more on that yet. 
I have a cold, so just excuse the um, Rudolph nose thing happening here. Um, I woke up with a sore throat yesterday and a bit of a runny nose and then yeah, it's just all happened today just because I'm on holidays. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut out a briar. Um, I need to decide on a skirt pattern. You guys have left so many great suggestions on my last video, um, but I'm just not 100% sure what pattern to go with yet. So I don't know. I need to decide on that. Anyway, that's what I'm up to. Um, our baby products are in the background there and our headbands. I just had someone come over to pick up some stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to continue on tracing that out now. And I'm also replying to YouTube comments. So if you have left me a comment recently, thank you. Um, and I am getting back to you now. So I'm just about to go and get my hair cut. This nose is killing me. Um, but I thought I'd just lay out my pattern pieces on my fabric for the Calife blouse, um, the Valley blouse, just to see how much extra I needed. And so annoyingly, the only, like I only need a bit more for the sleeves and that is it. I can fit everything else on there. <sighs> so frustrating. So I hope they have enough. Um, so yeah, I managed to get everything laid out on here. Except for the sleeves, but unfortunately the sleeves are big because they're floaty. Um, well, not floaty, but they're like big sleeves. So, yeah. I will have to go to Spotlight tomorrow and hope that I can get some more of this. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll check back in with you after my loving my hair um, I just really needed a trim and just a little bit of shaping we're just gonna grow these out a little bit um, just to make it a bit nicer when I put it up in a ponytail I never ever blow dry my hair because I have so much of it and I just get really hot and it hurts my arm having it up for so long so I don't bother um, I usually just let it air dry naturally which is fine I quite like it that way um, and then I style it after that. So it's nice to have your hair done every now and again. Um, my nose is getting really bad now. I have taken some drugs while it's not happening. So I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, I actually do have a fair bit of footage from the last few days anyway. So I'm going to upload that, upload that for you today. And then I will start another week tomorrow. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And make sure you watch out for my video on Sunday. See you then. Bye.